So the second chapter in our biology part is tissues. We have seen that in the first lesson, the fundamental unit of life, cell, it makes up the living organisms. So cell is the structural and functional unit of life. There we studied the structure and functions, the components of the cell. Now let us see the tissues. So what is the, what are these tissues? What is the necessity of tissue? We discussed that the cell performs all the functions of a living organism. It carries out all the activities. So we have, we are made up of uh, cells, multicellular organisms are made up of cells. Then what is the necessity of a tissue? Let us see, in case of unicellular organisms, in case of unicellular organisms, there is no topic of tissues. Because they are only one cell, throughout their life they, are, they have only one cell. Every aspect of the life, every life process is carried out within the cell. If you consider amoeba, everything goes in one cell. What I mean everything, nutrition, respiration, excretion and even reproduction, everything it goes in the one cell. Amoeba, paramecium, chlamydomonas, so all these are unicellular organisms. So the cell itself makes up the total organism and they can get the materials from the environment easily by simple physical phenomenon which we discussed in the previous class. Those are diffusion and the other one is osmosis. So these kind of simple physical phenomenon help these organisms to obtain the materials from the environment to their bodies and send out the waste materials to the environment even excretion also by the same physical phenomenon diffusion and osmosis. So that does not require any other thing in addition to this as they are made up of only one cell unicellular. Now let us see the case of multicellular, multicellular organisms. Multicellular organisms are made up of cells. Consider a multicellular organism, say a hum human. Let us consider a human being. Let us consider a human being, a multicellular organism. So the humans, they are made up of cells. They are made up of cells. But here you see the materials like food. People need food. So these cells, they cannot directly take the food. Whatever the cells present in the body, they cannot directly access the food. Food cannot enter our body directly through the cells as like in amoeba. Food cannot enter our body cells through the process of diffusion and water cannot enter our body cells through the process of diffusion and oxygen cannot enter our body through the process of diffusion as like in amoeba. In case of multicellular organisms, there are some specialized systems to carry out different functions because multicellular organisms are very complex. So, in multicellular organisms, all the cells do not take up a single function. The jobs or the tasks are divided among the groups of cells, which we call it as division of labor. Division of labor. So, what is this division of labor? So what does this division of labor means? All cells do not take up all the functions. The cells are specialized to take up some special functions. Say for example, the cells present in the digestive system, they take up the function of digestion. So here is the digestive system. The cells present in the digestive system, they involve in the function of digestion. The cells that make up the respiratory system, they take up the 
function of respiration, collection of gases, excretion of gases. In this way, the cells that make up our bones, providing sense, the cells that make up our muscles, uh, enable us to make movements. In this way, there are different kinds of tasks in our body, like movement, that is walking or moving hands or digestion, respiration. excretion and more important transportation because transport is very important in case of an amoeba transport is not so important because it is only one cell the materials are avoided available in the vicinity simply they can diffuse in and out there is no special system required to transfer where they will transfer the whole organism itself is single cell but whereas in multicellular organisms millions of cells are there the distance is very high from one part to another part. So they are to be transported. If you take a big tree, in a tree, it will be growing up to some meters height. Materials are to be transported. So transport system is also required. And the transport function also to be achieved. The transport function is achieved by some kind of cells. The excretion function is achieved by some kind of cells. So likewise, different cells are performing different functions. So the cells that perform a specific function are grouped together, are clustered and it is called as a tissue. Tissue is a group of cells. A group of cells. A group of cells. How these cells are? They have a structural and functional similarity. Structural and functional similarity that means they have a structural similarity and perform a similar function those are called as a tissue so tissue is a cluster of cells tissue is a group of cells so what kind of group it is what kind of cells they are tissue is a group of cells which are similar in their function and structure so why this grouping is done why the cells are specialized so the cells are specialized to achieve the maximum possibility of efficiency, the maximum possible efficiency. If the cells are individually performing the tasks, there is no efficiency. The efficiency is not achieved. The cent percent efficiency is not achieved. So to do so, the cells are specialized to clusters called as tissues. So these tissues, they make up the organs. These tissues, they make up the organs and organs make up the organ systems. So here, again, every organ system, say for example, excretory system, it is made up of many organs. And each organ is made up of different tissues. So in this way, the tissues, they make up the organs. Organs make up the organ system. So in this way, the tissue is a very important part, a group of cells. In this lesson, we are going to study about the different kinds of tissues which make up various organs and organ systems of our body. So we are studying the tissue, the, the classification of the tissue or the groups of the tissue according to their structure, how the cells are shaped and according to the functions they perform.